yes. Random location. Area, Brooklyn. But in this video, I am gonna do a walk around of where my bike is at in 2019. What's going on, YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. So like I did back in 2016, I've got a lot of um, people asking me to do a new walk around of my bike and the new upgrades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, just a quick walk around, show you any new upgrades that I made. And um, yeah, but um, yeah, let's get into it, man. Here we go. All right, so I'm sure everyone knows at this point that uh, this is, of course, a 2016 FX DLS Lowrider S. And um, let's kind of go around and go through some of the things that maybe I've uh, never really formally talked about. All right, so first and foremost, we have the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. And I put this on uh, probably a little bit over a year ago as being part of Team HDC. Uh, Memphis Shades did sponsor us. And, um, you know, we're all, myself, Connor FXDB, a lot of other guys are rocking the uh, Road Warrior fairing. And, man, do I love this fairing. It should be known that I'm also rocking the Memphis Shades hand guards, right? They do fit around the turn signals. I did a video quite a while ago but it was a really bad video and I didn't really give a lot of information about them. If, if you're someone that doesn't want to um, you know relocate your signals totally go with those hand guards. They look great. I've been running those for years now. They block a lot of wind and yeah man can't beat them man. I really like the look of them. But yeah one thing I really like about the uh, Road Warrior you guys can see I am rocking an 11 inch windshield. This is the darkest color they make. Um, one thing that I hope changes in the future is um, as you go up in height they only make it in dark smoke and clear so you can't actually get it this dark unless you go 11 inches or smaller but um the 11 inches is perfect for me it blocks just the right amount of wind and of course i really like the look of it so installation on the um fairing was pretty easy but um yeah they're actually really nice because you have the uh, quick disconnects right so that makes it really easy to take it off if you want to run it naked so yeah man shout out to memphis shades they're a major part of uh, my channel and they've supported me for quite a while and um, this fairing has been nothing but amazing it still looks great after throwing almost 10,000 miles on it all right so this is one of the newer things and this is the front um, legend suspension um, I am doing a video I don't know if I put it out yet but um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about this because again I'm doing a full video talking about the legend suspension but that is an upgrade that I made in the 2019 edition of this bike and of course we have the rear legend suspension right with the um, adjustable dampening which I really really like you can see I currently have it set on a three which has been good next thing I don't know if you notice this but I did change my foot pegs so these um, foot pegs are actually made by flow this came from um, get lowered cycles so definitely check out get lowered cycles if you're looking for um, flow pegs like this they do carry these in a lot of different colors they also carry the flow floorboards if you're looking for something a little bit bigger right but these are awesome they're super comfortable they keep your feet in place and um, I'm really excited to see how they do when um, I go cross country with them, right? Um, but yeah, they're really comfortable. Can't recommend them enough. And I also changed up to the shifter as well, right, to match the foot peg. And I really like that shifter because it um, is not going to leave like the mark on your boot that a rubber shifter would leave. So if you're tired of your boots having all those scuff marks, this might be a good uh, upgrade for you. If you saw my 2017 Sturgis videos, this is a Jag Vertical oil cooler and man does this thing make a difference um you know you all everyone's been in traffic standstill traffic during um during some part of their riding career and we all know how hot these bikes get we all know how hot a 110 engine gets or bigger this helps out a whole lot with heat and is just gonna you know if you're cooling down your oil you're just gonna get a whole bunch of performance boosts from that as well so um yeah what happens is once it hits a certain temperature this the fan um turns on let me see if, if my bike's hot enough for it to turn on right now yeah so i just turned my bike on you could see the fan is running i don't know if you guys could hear that or not 
but that's because the oil is at a certain temperature right now so that fan's running to cool it all right so this is the one that probably everyone has been waiting for i did do the chain conversion on this bike so that's something that i've kind of wanted to do for a really long time um but never really pulled the trigger on it because i was like i don't really know if that's like the best thing to do right now performance wise but eventually i just really wanted to do it for um you know i really liked the way it looked and i did want something stronger than a chain so finally i pulled the trigger on it um i hit up gerard over at rolling thunder and he was able to like take the budget that i had and put together a really affordable kit and also he was able to um build it to be as close to stock for my bike as possible so he knows my riding style he knows like i like to go fast he knows i enjoy the high end he um knows i like torque too you know i definitely you know i'm definitely about the low end too and he also knows i'm putting in a lot of miles so he was able to build this for me based off of my riding style and it's perfect man it does everything i wanted to do you definitely feel more of a stronger pull like when you come out of first gear and if you were to like order some of the kits that they have available a lot of those kits are strictly built for stunt riding so they're going to give you a whole bunch of power in the low end but you might lose some in the high end so i knew that and that's why i wanted to have gerard build one specifically for me so um if you're looking for something like that definitely hit him up and he could build you the same kit based off of whatever your riding style is but obviously I had to go with that gold chain for as long as I can remember as a kid I just wanted one of those gold ropes like all the rappers had right finally got it <laughs> so yeah man chain definitely nice to uh, know something I have definitely nice to know I have something strong on there the tensile strength is really strong on this thing um, and then yeah like I said I I'm gonna bore you to death if I talk about like all the sprocket sizes and everything that went into this so if you want specifics like hit me up and I'll give you a part list but um yeah, again, I don't want to bore you guys with just like listing out all these gears and sprockets and stuff. So on that note of having strong parts, I also wanted to invest in a stronger shift linkage. And this, of course, is coming from Purpose Built Motorcycles, another great East Coast company. So um, again, this thing is never going to break. It's going to do what I need it to. And it also looks awesome in the gold. You probably also noticed I'm also rocking that Purpose Built PBM Derby cover. I had to switch that out because I was putting stickers on my old one and just with the heat it like melted into the stock cover so this cleans it up quite a bit so again that's from purpose-built motorcycles these passenger pegs here these come from bung king and i believe it's the uh brass so it matches the um color of the fx dls pretty well and um you know the lady is definitely really comfortable with these i've got no complaints with her and of course my bike does have the full fender kit um i used the kit for the lighting from hardcore cycles and i went with the stock harley um full fender just ordered it straight from them and um yep that's what i'm running for a full fender of course we got our dynamite crew timing cover right can't not have that obviously we got the fab 28 peter gun special you all know about that if you've seen my video right and i gotta say just to give you some perspective performance wise this pipe as well as the um legend suspension is probably the two biggest performance upgrades i've done like i've noticed a major difference in the bike's performance after putting that pipe on and a major difference in performance when i put the uh, legend suspension on okay so the other thing you can't see but is an upgrade i did put the sns 585 cams into this engine and that is just another insane performance upgrade i could show you the graph about what it did to the horsepower and the torque but basically past 3000 rpms this bike is just hauling ass. <laughs> you know i'm getting way more power out of the lower gears and um you really feel it past like 3000 rpms um not to mention the bike now shoots fire too so that happened after putting the cam in
but um, I'm definitely happy that I made that upgrade. Um, I love the performance boost with it, and again, the numbers speak for themselves. So um, definitely ride a bike with the cams. You know, it makes a major difference with the sound of the bike too. Like the bike became like a lower rumble, um, and it was louder if that makes sense. We have the Bung King shock sliders, right? And um, I don't know. I I have yet to really test these out with the Fab 28. Um, what I could tell you is I did drop this bike with the Thunder Header on a uh, curved surface. It was like kind of on a hill, and it did scratch the pipe. So these did not hit so um i'd be curious to see if i dropped it with a fab 28 which um is a little bit more of a lower profile pipe if that would scratch the pipe or not but um yeah when i did drop this bike this crash bar by bunking definitely did its job came in handy for sure all right so we do have the led um bar light right and this is um this thing is crazy bright i'll give you an example in a second but that is um this is the one that was sold from hardcore cycles so yeah that thing is like blind Blindingly bright and you can kind of see it in the video like it's no joke man i highly recommend upgrading to one of those led light bars i will say though that installation on it was definitely really tough we did have to drill into the headlamp block in order to get this in and um if i didn't have the right mechanic with me um, i don't think i would have been able to get this on and then of course we have the fork boots right just to clean up the chrome a little bit and again, that is also, I got that from Hardcore Cycles. And we also have the Thrashin' Supply Bar Bag with a uh, tool roll. Um, you can see that kind of nestled in here um, underneath my fairing. So I have been using that as my main bar bag lately. And that came from Get Lowered Cycles. And I am going to do a review video on that. So um, stay tuned for more information about that. I did change the emblem to a uh, FXDX emblem, right? I've always liked that one. So um, went with that, took the emblems off and put that on. And what it is, is it's actually painted on. And then it's um, it's painted on from the stencil, from the factory stencil. And then um, it's also painted over with gloss. So yeah, again, I had someone paint that on. And then, yeah, so I mean, that's really it. This bike has come a really long way since 2016. I hope you guys like what I've done with it. And uh, yeah, so thanks for uh, checking it out. If you guys have any questions about about any of the products that you see on this bike feel free to let me know they're all linked below major shout out to all the companies that have supported this build so obviously we got memphis shades get lowered has definitely helped out a lot with this build shout out to uh hardcore cycles for the uh support early on with a lot of this stuff shout out to purpose built motorcycles and major major shout out to ruling thunder cycles who really without them you know this bike would not be in the place that's in right now you know they really took the vision that i had and really helped me make it possible so major shout out to gerard and everyone over at ruling thunder cycles all right so that's really all we got if you have any questions about any of the things listed feel free to let me know and if i missed anything feel free to let me know but i think i got mostly everything that's new and yeah we're gonna close it out here so as always thank you for watching and bk low is out